I was doing too much. I was doing too much and I forgot it's members and mods Monday. And would I be no one in the chat right now is not a member or not a mod. So let me handle some business. I think I a sure was good morning, boo boo. Let me handle some business with this pleasure. So I won't have to worry about um, dialing back uh anything so i I wouldn't want to exclude anyone um but it is monday and it is members and mods and let me just stay on track because that way i don't have to remember later in the week why did she do a members only she doesn't do members only like that oh no okay uh hold on one second i don't like doing that so yeah i there's two people in the chat now okay hold on one second let me let me fix that back omg chelsea and blessed lady i don't yeah i'm gonna just keep it how i had it okay i okay because you know we're here to have fun uh we'll do members and mods tomorrow morning okay uh Mondays is normally members and mods. Bless Lady E, Boo Boo, uh, OMG Chelsea. Good morning, Huns. You're back, okay? Um, normally, I would have had it set up because I don't like to 86 anyone out the chat like that unless you just come through foul. And um, we don't we don't ask friends to leave the party, do we? We don't do that over here. If you're friends, if you're a friend, girl, it's friends to the end. It's bougie gang gang up in here, okay? So, um, anybody, uh, everybody, um, just hit that subscribe button at the end of the day, it's subscriber only. That is what we know. Right. Um, but yeah, uh, to our other friends, go ahead and come on back through boo-boos. We, we see you. Um, Cheryl was good morning, boo-boo. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, Anisha. Good morning. Taishari boo boo i would did you see me over there uh trolling your instagram i was like girl i gotta get me some of those moves okay ty Cherie, i love your instagram feed it just gets me like yes sister yes good morning i hope you're having a wonderful day so far ty Cherie, and all of bougie gang good morning we were just over at real talk bougie this morning talking all things real housewives i'm gonna be honest last night because you know i haven't been in the loop for a minute girl we not only am i booed up over here i am booed up like quadruple because farah my husband the doggies um they keep me booed up i mean period like it's just it's <laughs> y'all um I'm a very giving woman, <laughs> okay? So I'm busy with my family and I've been off Real Housewives because I've been on this. I've been doing YouTube for two, two, three, four years, really. Um, guys, you know, let's just talk about Vita, how Vita wrapped up for a second. Um, and I, look, I know these ladies talk about they got this, they got that. Let me tell you something. When I first started doing YouTube almost four years ago, um... On love, on a love, love eyes and lace fronts. On Francois's vlogs, um, it was hard to get some views. I didn't know anybody. I didn't have a community. I didn't know how to go jump into a live. I didn't even really think about going live. Um, and until one day, I thought about going live, and I made a friend on the YouTube streets, and I was like, "You want to go live together? Like, let's do this thing." And we did, and 
and here here I am now on Love Lies and Lace Fronts, which was the title of a episode of one of my reaction videos on when I used to do reactions over on my mummy channel, right? Anyway, um, you know, it's just it's it's the evolution, you know, for me. And um at the end of the day, Vita is 30 freaking days. All right. And uh Tierra is going to her birthday, which was May something, fifth or something, right? Um I put up videos every single day. I did not miss a day. I put up vlogs every day. I was determined. I had committed to myself. I started doing Vlogtober and I said, okay, let me start with Vlogtober because that'll get me ready for Vlogmas. I'd watched one too many Vlogmases and said, I'm going to do Vlogmas this year. Anyway, long story short, I gave myself a 365 day challenge to get myself monetized and, and get my, get myself an audience. And at that time when I knew no one did not have YouTube streets, friends, didn't know anybody. I was in my car driving back and forth to work. Um, we didn't have Porsche yet. All the things Farrah might have been in, I don't know, second or third grade. She'll be in middle school this year. Um, I vlogged every single day until I got monetized. And then I finally started taking a day off. But I went almost a whole entire year putting up a video. And when I say every day, I mean Monday through Sunday. Every day. Okay. I was sitting there counting my hours. Now I can get 4,000 watch hours, girl, in a couple of days, maybe a day. It could be, it could be two days. I dropped two really good videos. Y'all coming through. When you are a small channel and don't have an audience, it's like, oh, I got 17 hours. Okay, like it starts to rack up when you have more of an audience. I mean, it's just math, right? It's nothing special. It's just math. It's a numbers game. I'm going to give someone some encouragement this morning. I it took me nine months to get monetized. Some of you guys are getting monetized in nine days. Be grateful for this community, no matter how ratchet it is, because if you want to start a YouTube channel, you are a fool. If you are in this YouTube, if you are in this sector and you show up in these chats and you have some relationships. You are a fool to not do it at this moment. When I started YouTube, I didn't know anybody. I didn't know anything. I was just watching videos. I wasn't going to comment sections. I wasn't going to live streams. I did it all by myself. You guys found me however you found me. Okay. And it's a lot of work. I did it every single day for almost a whole entire year. These hoes, I don't, that's why I don't feel sorry for them. Because they rode waves. You know, I don't I know Chrissy started on her own. So I'm gonna give Chrissy credit where credit is due. Um, at the end of the day, uh even Jasmine, we know Jasmine did some work, but Jasmine attached herself to Chrissy and you know got it popping like that. At the end of the day, um I don't feel sorry when people can't make it through a 30 day challenge. I'm sorry. Like you can't do something for 30 days. Let me see what picture this is. Ooh. <laughs> uh, you know, Chrissy definitely came through on her own. She knows what she did. She talked about it. She used a lot of the drama going on in her life to help sell her channel and to make a name for herself. And now she doesn't want to do that anymore. And I get it, but you know what I'm saying? You have to, uh, you have to give people something else to chew on and bite on um, rather than just tell people to get out of your business because you're not giving us anything else to focus on. So we'll see. Right. Um, Chrissy came live the other day, yesterday, and was talking about some stuff in her kitchen. And I, uh, you know, I was like, okay, girl, um, what's this girl? I'm on a whole different, if you have StreamYard, you can set up like different brand accounts basically. So I'm in a place I hadn't been in a minute. And, um, that's why I had that intro. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot I even made that. Um, anyway, long story short, um, back to me. Um, I was talking about the challenge and just, and now back to the ladies Vita. I was like, y'all it's some damn, 
it, it's not hard to do a 30 day challenge. It really isn't. You just have to get into it and you have to be determined and failure is not an option. Okay. Anyway, guys, there was some breaking news. Love by Erica is in the hospital. Okay. Love by Erica is in the hospital certified for real. Um, she basically her water broke and they're telling her that she's gonna have to be in the hospital for six weeks to two months right now. As of last night, she was in bed. As far as did she have the baby? I don't know. I think they were trying to keep now. Remember, we learned something about infusion, amniotic infusion. See, what happened with Love by Erica is potentially a situation for amniotic infusion. The baby is not ready. The baby would have to go to the NICU. Um, they said six to six weeks to two months. Girl, Damien uh, Cryer over here, out of town. Mother was two hours away. Um, luckily, uh, Cam, baby Cam, not baby Cam, but her son Cam, uh, who is maybe five, six years old, was with a cousin. And mom was on her way to come get Dion. Uh, the baby right here. So Erica is getting ready to have a baby, maybe with Damien Cryer, maybe with Rakan Mucker. Um, so we'll see how that develops. This is Latoya. Um, Latoya is going to marry Rakan Mucker. Loved by Erica's ex-boyfriend. And that this man right here with the with the titles, that's Latoya's ex-boyfriend. Okay. It's very complicated. It's very juicy. Go check out my playlist for all of those videos. If you want to kind of get caught up in what's going on, but Erica could be having a baby by the man that this lady is currently engaged to. And like I said, she used to date this man right here. Okay. It's very sorted. It's very juicy. It's very Ooh la la, ratchet, monetized mom life on these YouTube streets. Okay. Very ratchet. Okay. Um, but yes, she's in the hospital. She was going live from her hospital bed. Let's wish Erica the absolute best. Let's hope that she can make it um, at least another couple of weeks. Let the baby cook just a little bit longer. Because, you know, every day that the baby stays in is a win because, you know, the baby is not ready yet. Um, but babies survive all the time coming out early. So she's in Texas. She's at, I'm sure, a good hospital in Houston. Houston has some of the best hospitals. So, um, you know, hopefully everything will be okay for her. But like I said, she was going live straight from her hospital bed yesterday. And that's loved by Erica. Um, Damien Cryer was out of town going to see one of his sons or meeting up with one of his sons. The man has a ton of kids. So girl, who only knows where and what was really going on. Um, but at the end of the day, that was her story and she's sticking with it and she was in her hospital bed. And that's that on that. Um, I didn't intend to talk about them this morning, but why not? Um, Latoya uh, did a video this yesterday where they were giving a empty house tour of the house that she moved out of that when she got outed, when she got doxxed on the YouTube streets by allegedly loved by Erica, um, she said she didn't feel safe anymore. And uh, they did a whole play with us that Rakan, her uh, now fiance, ex to love by Erica, was going to buy her a house. But the whole time, I think she was just moving over to Rakan's house. And they are now engaged, all of the things. She did an empty house tour. I was, okay. Yeah. So it was cute. It was cute. And we're watching and we're just seeing what's going on. Allegedly, they are due to get married. Um, we're going to wait and see when Erica has the baby. Is the baby a baby mucker or is the baby another baby crier? Is the baby going to be associated with this muckers or is the is this is Damien Prince getting ready to have another little brother? OK, that's actually younger than his kids. Right. OK. Nina Michelle, it's a little gross. Right. It's a little gross. Gross. Hi, Miss Moore. Hello, everyone. Racist be gone. Good morning, guys. This is not a figment of your imagination. Today was members and mods. Um, I didn't set it fast enough or early enough. Rather, I'll say it like that. We had two friends drop in um, who were not 
uh, members or mods, and we didn't want to kick anyone out the party. So just as quick as I said it, I took it off. So we'll do members and mods maybe tomorrow. Okay. Um, so yes, members and mods on Love Lies and Lace Fronts every Monday. If you guys want to be part of that, hit the join button, support this channel at uh, whatever level you feel comfortable doing so. Um, I certainly appreciate the love and I appreciate the support. Um, it goes a long way. So trust and believe that $1.99, whatever it is, whatever level you participate, it adds up and I so appreciate it. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you guys do to help support sis um, in bringing this content, right? Um, but yeah, that's what's going on with uh, the Mucker family, Creole Bay, um, Love by Erica, Damien Cryer. Uh, somebody should be nervous about a paternity test, okay? Somebody's got a baby coming. We know Erica's got a baby coming, but who's, who's, who, who, who's the daddy? Well, we don't know. Okay, guys. Okay, we don't know. Um, anywho, let's, let's keep it moving. Um, Liv put out a picture yesterday. I don't even have it prepped and ready to show. If you guys follow Liv over there to her mommy channel, um, do I have it? Let me see. Ooh, ooh. I was live over on Real Talk Bougie this morning, guys. Um, one second, y'all. Okay, y'all. Good morning. Um, we were live over on Real Talk Bougie this morning. If you want to hear all things Atlanta, um, it's over there. So Liv showed the baby by accident. Um, then she put up another picture. Let me see if I can find it. I may have uploaded it, but let me check. Let me see. Um, did I put it over here? All right, let me go over to her Instagram. Okay, let me go to the Instagram. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Good morning, everyone coming in. Hit the like button for me. Hit the like button. Guys, what, what happens, girl, this clown. Okay, Miss Moore, Dej, good morning, live, laugh, love. Um, Jasmine plus three, mom of twinsies, Victoria love, everybody, good morning. Um, SK Lee, good morning. Anonymous Reactor, OMG Chelsea, good morning, boo boo. I saw that girl. We had to we had to take that. Uh let's see. Uh Shay, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Dr. A. Hi, boo boo. Rose of Sharon. Hi, boo boo. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. And thank you to everyone who joined me over on Real Talk Bougie this morning. Um, let me see if I can get over to Instagram real quick. Instagram. And if you notice how Liv says, Liv, Liv's enunciation is real weird sometimes. She loves to play around. Let's see. Um, I don't like doing Instagram on my... Uh, Maybe I don't even have that profile on this computer. Oh, switch accounts. Duh. I always forget. Okay, let's see if we can find homegirl. I don't know who girl I'm just I'm not girl don't get me to lying I don't know who this baby is That's, I'm just gonna be for real I don't know who this baby is that might be her baby that might not be her baby I do not know but I am on a public profile let's just state this let's just be clear I am on a public profile with a profile picture prominently placed okay all those peas um on a Instagram okay so let's not 
play play that this is something that's not posted for the public on a public figure's public ass Instagram. Okay? Period. Now the baby is cute. Okay, baby is cute, cute, but girl, Olivia plays so much. I don't I don't know whose baby this is, okay? I don't know. All right. I don't know whose baby this is. I don't know. Um, but if that is her baby, if that is the baby that she pushed out of her of her uh Virginia, um, girl. I don't know. This is let the record show. We are on Instagram. We are on Instagram where this person has 27,000 followers. Period. Okay? And collecting cash apps and advertising YouTube and all of the things, right? So you can't claim. You can claim what you want to claim. But girl, is that baby bands? Is that baby bands? That looks like Zolo bands to me. Now, does the baby look like Ryan a little bit? Girl. What's on Liv's link tree? Let's see. Let's see what's going on over here. Patreon. Is that is that now defunct? Membership $20. Anybody still over there? 12 videos. Are there any? Uh, maybe she doesn't have the amount of patrons. Hello, exclusive members. That was another fail. Okay, shop butterfly by Liv. Is there any product on there? Let's let's go see. Um, she's got her honey hair oil and um. Hold on a second. Let me show you guys something. Okay. Let me... I don't know if she's even really talking. This is her this is her business website. This is where she sells the hair oils. This is Butterfly by Liv. Butterfly lashes. Butterfly by Liv home. Oh yeah, yeah. Am I sharing it? Huh. Okay. Available May 28th. Oh, I guess she's going to have hair oil again. Okay, free promo. Um, Livy Lash, Rocky Lash, and hair oil. And then here is some sort of Fugazi video. Girl, I'm not even going to play that. But anyway, this is what's going on. This is her catalog. Is it anything? Okay, here's some lashes. Everything is sold out, sold out. Can you see this? Okay. The hair oil said coming May 28th. I guess she still got Rocky lashes, guys. Those are $10. And on the home page, it said that the oil is going to be available in a month. Okay. Um, all right. Good for her. Okay. So I don't know whose baby that was, just to be honest, and don't care. Like, let's not get it twisted. Nobody cares. Um, I think the baby is beautiful, whoever's baby that might be. I don't know if that's her kid or not. Um, I don't know. She's got some baby posted up on her Instagram and we don't know whose baby that is. Um, that could be her baby. That could be some random person on the internet's baby. Um, we know that this week Olivia was mad, mad, um, at her baby Favel because of gosh, let's pick, let's pick a struggle. 
um, she was mad, mad because um, he came out to set the record straight about what was going on and she didn't like it. So, you know, look, we just came off the heels of a very disappointing, uh, which I don't think anybody was shocked, um, Vita, where nobody in that whole crew could crush a goal if they had a can crusher. Okay. Um, Olivia basically is racking up her baby daddy count. Um, she's on count two. Jazzy Life girl is on count two. Girl, Strong Mommy Christy, I don't think was uh participating in Vita, but girl, she's talking about, of course, getting her content up as per usual. Um, girl, love by Erica. She's either on baby daddy number two or baby daddy number three. We're not sure yet. Um, but back to Liv. Liv posted the picture of what appears to be a baby that could look like Zolo bands and her. And guys, do we know what today is? Do you know what today is? It would be their anniversary if they would have made it. Guys, today's 5-2. Did we forget? Girl, I almost forgot. I looked at the calendar. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, shit, not it? <laughs> it's 5-2. Y'all, it's 5-2. It's, it's the anniversary. What? Y'all. This five member Olivia had five two tattooed on her hand. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Where's let me see? Where's girl? Girl, uh, is that why you put the baby picture out? Because it's y'all's anniversary. It's you and Zolo Band's uh, anniversary. If y'all would have made it, okay. Now, that is not the actual real picture, but <laughs> they both tattooed 5-2 on their hands as their commemorative tattoo of the union of their marriage. Good morning, everyone. Did we remember it was 5-2 today? It's 5-2. Let's get, let's get some audience pulse check. 5-2. Hey, Scorpion Queen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Can you believe it's been a year since we met Zolo Bands? Guys, I'm going to have to do a proper commemoration of the 5-2 celebration uh, because I was not prepared. I was over there being footloose and fancy free talking about the Real Housewives, and I didn't queue up all of the videos that we need to watch to commemorate the dragation. We'll we'll start it out nice when we're like, who is this guy? What's going on? And then we're going to go into, girl, he drug your ass while leaving the apartment with all his shit in garbage bags. Okay? Not once, not twice, but three times, girl. Three times. Okay? So, y'all, stay tuned for that. Uh, we will do that later on this afternoon because it's 5-2, y'all. It's 5-2. What you going to do? Olivia went ahead and put out the baby picture, allegedly, of a baby that looks like it could be baby bands, could be a.k.a. Chicago Smart, okay? Um, we don't know what this baby's name is. It could be AJ. It could be Adrian. It could be Al Alonzo. It could be Alex. It could be um, Mr. All Right. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Okay. So it's it's Christian. Okay. Girl, you see what I'm saying? Girl. Look at Christian. Those babies are beautiful. Olivia makes very be beautiful kids, girl, but can you hold on to them? Okay, cuz we already know that the daddy came through to come get one of them, okay? All right. Uh Mary T, what's up? Tammy Tammy Ray, good morning. Blackout T, good morning, boo boo. Um Oh, uh, okay. So hoes of YouTube posted it this morning. What did she post this morning? Girl, I've been busy on my own channel this morning. I don't know what she posted. Did she post the comparison of Christian's photo and um, who Olivia is saying is this photo? Oh, you know what? I think I saw something. I think I saw a side by side. So maybe somebody snapped that from hoes of YouTube. I'm not sure, but I will go check it out. Um, 
So, girl, I've been live since I've been live this morning since seven. I was doing my Real Housewives recap on Real Talk Bougie. If you missed that, go check it out. Go support your girl. If you're here right now, hey Gina, good morning, boo boo. If you are here right now and you are not subscribed to Real Talk Bougie, y'all, what are you waiting for? Okay. We are talking these ratchet moms. It is Mother's Day this month. Mother's Day. May is when we celebrate Mother's Day. But we are also celebrating just ratchet moms in general. It's monetized mom month. Okay. All right. It's monetized mommy month. And we will be talking about lots of different mommies who monetize their ish across this YouTube. It's May, guys. And it's Mother's Day. And we are going to celebrate the ratchet monetized mommies. But you know, we had to go back OG and we, you know, we, we gonna uh, see what's going on with all of them. Right. Right. So hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button guys, subscribe and, um, and let's do this damn thing. Um, we also saw Jasmine uh, go on a date with her boyfriend Y'all had lots to say. It was funny. It's, I don't know what. It's monetized. My, it's girl. It's like Cloutmas all over again. Um, but girl, we talking about these ratchet monetized moms. Okay. Period. Not just, not just the OGs. Okay. Um, yeah. Jasmine, girl. Jasmine is a prime. See, Jasmine. Jasmine is one of the, Jasmine is a throwback. And you want to know why I say, that's, that's mean, Fran. She, why would you call her? A She's a throwback. Jasmine is someone who wants to do nothing with her life other than have babies. I think um, Strong Mommy Chrissy was in that. She talked about that, right? Um, I think Jasmine wants to do nothing but have babies because I think that's how she thinks that she's going to secure the bag. Um, on top of the money bag, I think that's how she thinks she's going to secure the testicle bag. And she thinks that she's going to secure those testicles by dropping it low and, uh, popping out babies constantly. That's what she thinks is the, is the keys, right? Um, that being said, girl, uh, your man actually wants to spend time with your slow behind. Okay. And he is telling you to put on a nice dress, put on an outfit and um and go on out uh and enjoy some time one on one get babysitters all of the things and you are over here sitting outside in the car on a live stream does that make sense guys i guess maybe if you're jasmine that makes sense but yeah they went out for dinner. They went out to enjoy each other's company. And Jasmine was singing. I'm so excited to get back home. And of course, I know we're all excited to see our kids when we miss our kids. And we haven't seen our kids in a few hours or a few days. We went on vacation or whatever the case might be. Homegirl is fixated on being around those kids. And she is not even enjoying spending time with her husband. Excuse me. <laughs> her husband for TV, her play husband. Um, she is getting excited around running the car back home at 1038. I was like, girl, do you want to, how do you want to marry this man when you're not even enjoying spending time out and getting to know people he's trying to bring you over to somebody's house? I don't know if that was his family. I don't know if those were friends. But she said she was going to sit out in the car with her antisocial ass. And then you want to be antisocial, but you go on live stream to go talk to other people like that. Just make it make sense, sis. Make it make sense. Girl, y'all, I hear y'all on the Discord right now. Let's see what's going. Let's check in with the Discord. Hey, good morning, huh? We are in the, girl, we are live. Let me, let me type this into the Discord. We are live. <laughs> morning <laughs> y'all y'all are funny y'all in the uh i think uh someone is in the um girl in the discord and you know girl it's all about multitasking okay um but yeah is this what hoes of youtube post posted up i'm not sure um 
that was a Christian picture and a recent picture. I'm not sure. Someone posted up something. I guess Liv posted this. Oh, I see now. I see now. I see now. So July 14th, 2018, there is a picture posted of, I guess that's Christian. Look how much Christian bottom and Ryan top look alike. So the picture she posted is of Christian. Okay. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I see it. Um, where this is posted, I do not know. Is this posted over at this? I think this is posted on Blama's channel. Okay, I see this now. Um, y'all, a mess. I'm not going to show it because it's posted. Go on over to Blama's channel, go over um, to Sis's channel. She's got it posted on her community post. Um, go check her out. Um, I saw the picture. We showed that a little earlier on the Instagram, but the side by side from 2018, she did a side by side in 2018 of a baby picture of Ryan and a baby picture of Christian. Um, and one and the picture of Christian is the one she posted on her Instagram, which is clearly not baby bands. Um, Chicago smart. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to all of the very smart folks of the YouTube streets that smell a rat a mile away. This is what I'm talking about. Olivia is delusional. She Maybe she's playing for the people who don't know. Maybe that's what it is. Is that what it is? She's playing for the people that don't know. She's playing for the people in the back who wear shoes like this. Okay? Okay? She's playing for the drive through She's playing for who's your baby daddy. Okay. She's playing for the, um, I don't care about truancy or getting my kids back to school on time. I don't care about the principal and the attendance office calling and saying that your kids have unexcused absences and they need to get their education. She's playing for the bitches in the back. Okay. She's playing for the quit my life. She's playing for the monetized wretched mummy sector who, um, if she hadn't had a baby girl, would you even, I guess you would be celebrating mother's day a different type of way. Um, okay. Now, uh, Jasmine, girl, back to you. Lose those glasses and lose that bonnet. Um, if that's what you want to wear around the house, do you mind not like telling us that you're a social media influencer? Please, please, please. Okay. Olivia posted a picture. She's trolling us again. She wants us to think that the baby picture that she posted is baby, baby bands. Okay. Homegirl is weird. Homegirl is certified. And uh, Gerard verified that he won custody back in October. So Olivia is celebrating Mother's Day this year, minus three of her kids. Girl, you enjoy baby bands. Because, you know, look at God. Look at, look at God. Look how he blessed you. Okay? You lost your kids through foolishness and fuckery. And he saw fit just so we don't have to sit and watch you further lose your mind, blessed you with another baby so you could have something to focus on, something to give you hope and inspiration to get your shit back together. We will see what you do. We'll see what you do with this blessing. Or will you create another situation for you to make someone else the bad guy and you to have something else to complain about because you just can't seem to get your shit together. Okay? Guys, I can't seem to get up off a of live. Jasmine, girl. Um, Jasmine went on a date with Chris. It was lame. They were on their way home by 1030. Um, nothing fun to report. Jasmine wasn't even having a good time. Uh, Chris was trying to bring her into the house to meet some people or get to know some people. She decided to sit in the car and go live. Okay? I mean, there's not really a whole lot to say there 
other than really, sis, you're on a date. Why don't you go meet his people? Do you wonder why you did not have a baby shower? Do you wonder why uh, nobody really is here for your relationship? Because they don't know you. They know Chris. And they know when he brings you through to meet folk, you sit out in the car. Okay? And then you go live and tell everybody. That was weird. That was very strange. I would never have done that. If you wanted to sit out and have a moment in the car, why didn't you just sit out and have a moment in the car? You going live and telling everybody that you didn't want to go and meet whoever, don't you understand that Chris, Chris's people, whoever they are, whoever they might be, may have been offended by that? Like, oh, okay, you can't come in the car? Like, you can't come out the car to meet us? We wanted to meet you. I guess she said uh, Chris was going to get a plate. I guarantee you, I would almost guarantee they didn't send you any food. Like I would, I'd have been like, look, if she wants some food, tell her to come inside. <laughs> if she wants some of this girl, carry your ass up in the house. Come on in. Like just absolutely disrespectful. So I don't know. Um, that's what was going on this weekend. Girl. Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't even have anything to report. I don't even know what was going on with over on Keisha's channel this weekend. Just to be honest, I don't. I know we talked about a few things um, on Friday. Um, as far as what's going on, I know she just dropped a video. Um, we talked about episode three last week. What else is going on over there? I'm going to be honest. I have no clue. Oh, I think she's in New Orleans, right? I think I saw that on Instagram. I saw her Instagram feed and um, she had on some damn bell bottom stretchy pants. And I think they were supposed to be going to a wedding or something. Um, I'm not sure, but I think she's in New Orleans. And Splash checked in going to New Orleans on his Insta. And that's kind of all I know. Anything else going on over there? I, I'm not really privy to it. I have no idea. Um, who else? What else? Um, let me see. Brittany uh, Marshall dropped her videos. They went to Miami. That was cute. Um, if you missed the live, I did do a live. Um, we did go through Jasmine's photos of her evening out. So go check that video out. Um, I think the thumbnail looks something. That might even be the thumbnail, just to be quite honest. Um, let's see. Go check out Liv and her Fugazi. Okay. Uh, I think we're still waiting for a verdict on Black China some more monetized mom life um, episode four coming out soon. We will catch that. Um, I think Tierra is um, doing her Vita all the way through to her birthday um, later this week. Jasmine, go get some fucking new shoes. Those shoes are horrible guys. I am going to do a video on mercy. Gono um, there. The troll account in case any of you are watching this, the troll account that they say is Gerald Addy's actually uh, commented under one of my videos and I was kind of surprised, but then not surprised because I think he, the account has been making their rounds. I don't know if this is a troll account for Gerald Addy or not, but there is an interesting video posted that I am going to do a reaction on. I just didn't know if it was live reaction video worthy. Um, I might just do a quick, you know, 20, minute video um and put it out on a premiere but if you guys want it live you let me know but um and you guys have been showing up for the mercy gono story um i don't know what's really going on i mean part of me tells me that some of this is a scam i would hope that she's not out here scamming or telling stories and lies but allegedly she was back in atlanta in a hotel with gerald addy and that there was an account that posted her in a hotel, in bed, not doing anything sorted, just in bed with her bonnet, um, being filmed by Gerald Addy. And I couldn't really make out the conversation, just to be honest. So, I mean, that's her man. They could have been in a hotel at any time. So I don't know what that footage is, but 
My thing is, who gave you that? If that's not Gerald, who gave you access to that footage? I mean, that's not something that someone would readily have unless it was posted elsewhere. So, of course, you know, stuff is going on. Mercy, as far as I know, hasn't posted anything in almost a week. She said she was taking a mental health break. The 2.0 channel that she put up is all about the drama. So I'm just hoping for her sake and her natural hair channel and wigs and lifestyle that she can get her original channel back of 1.5 million because at the end of the day, this 2.0 channel that she put up, I don't think that that fits with the brand that she is trying to put out there and portray the one that's paying the bills, the one that's buying Porsches, the ones that is buying, you know, investment properties and all of those things. It's extremely ratchet. And, but there's some video out here that is kind of leaning towards like that mercy might, you know, I mean, mercy clearly is with the shits but maybe more with the shits than we thought. So I don't really know, but I'm going to do a reaction to it. Um, and in light of us having to celebrate 5-2, the, uh, the anniversary of the foolishness and fuckery that was called uh, Live and Zolo, um, we're going to do a little anniversary celebration later on this afternoon. And we're going to go through some of the videos, at least that I posted. We'll do some live reactions and get some hee-hee-ha-has on some of the shenanigans that went on with these two. And girl, where is baby bands? Is Chicago smart here or not? This is a whole woman that in one year of meeting and getting tattoos, um, of being booed up, that she already may have a one to two month old baby. Girl, while still married to another man and losing three children. Let's top to bottom this. Let's relive the last 12 months. Let's see the downward spiral and the debacle of a channel. <laughs> okay, we're going to do that later this afternoon or early this evening. So your girl got to uh, get on her ish. Um, let's see. Let me go over to the poll and see what's going on over there. But we're going to keep this like right at an hour. Um, let's go ahead and get through this poll and see what's going on. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the most ratchet of them all? I didn't even get Mercy on here. I did put Keisha. I didn't put Love by Erica. Okay, Chrissy. Chrissy may just not even need to be on the list anymore, but she is an OG mom, so I didn't want to leave her out. Okay, I wanted to give credit where credit is due. Uh, give her her respect. Put some respect on her name, okay? Um, but let's see. Let me, let me change the optics, okay? Mercy, we will be back, boo-boo. All of you Mercy Gono watchers, girl. Hold on, I'm coming. I got a video for y'all, okay? Hold on. I will be I will be I will put something up, okay? Um I know that that is a interesting story and she is coming with the Ratchetto. Um she's coming she's coming in hard, ratchet. And we don't really know what's going on, okay? Um so we're going to we're going to, you know, we're going to tell both sides. We're going to keep it fair. Um Let's see. They didn't look appropriate for a wedding. Oh, okay. That's what it was. Uh, you know, um, it depends on how fancy, fancy schmancy, but girl, let me tell you something in a world now where people show up in jeans to weddings and funerals. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like I've seen people so inappropriately dressed at funerals. It's ridiculous. Um, and people don't get dressed up appropriately. Lives life sounds something like a soap opera. That's what it is to me. I, I'm just watching the episodes. I don't know if this girl's telling the truth on a daily basis or not. We know these are real people. Um, and you know what? I got another idea too. Okay, girl, we we gonna be back later this afternoon. Um, on live, live, girl, charge up your phone, girl. We coming back for you, honey. We gonna we gonna we gonna help you celebrate five two. Okay. Um, let's get back to this poll real quick though. Okay. Let me get to this poll. Okay. Um, mirror, mirror on the wall. 
who's the most ratchet of them all? 2% say strong mommy Chrissy. So 2% of you out there still are like, you know what? Yes. 308 votes so far. 2% approximately would be about six or seven of you guys out there. Just six or seven free thinkers are like, yeah, she is the most, right? She's just not the most visible at this moment, right? 8% say my jazzy life. Jasmine is ratchet AF. Jasmine took us into the bathroom and sat on the fucking toilet the other day. Even, I don't know if she was taking a crap, a piss or what, but of all places that you needed to go sit down, maybe she was running a bath. I don't know. But girl, okay, she's 8%. 8%. Okay. Okay, y'all. So about 24. Okay. 23% of you say Keisha. 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 Okay. 67. I mean, I do agree. Like, I'm going to say in order of progression of this lineup, absolutely. Absolutely. I do agree with the 67%. I believe in first place, Liv from Liv's Life. Second place, Keisha from the Keisha Kaylee Show. And uh, Jasmine with My Jazzy Life, okay? And coming in at the at, at the least ratchet of the most ratchet. Who is the least ratchet of the most ratchet? Strong Mommy Chrissy, girl. You know what? Strong Mommy Chrissy uses words like aesthetic, okay? And she showed us some new pots and pans. Um, so, girl, I, I can agree that she is the least ratchet of this most ratchet list. So, yes. You know what? I'm going to agree with you on that. I'm going to agree. Okay. Um, Liv, definitely number one, but I would have took Keisha too, but she's not, she's ratchet in a different way. I would say best overall ratchet in a TV series on YouTube. It's got to be Liv. Liv has sucked a dick. Liv got her kids took in. Liv showed up to an airport in shower shoes and a smelly, funky looking shirt without her hair combed and no coat still in the winter time um looking like a mental patient so yes i agree i agree i agree i agree absolutely um keisha is being shown on an episode of love and marriage huntsville okay um with purple hair at an event with men who are notorious cheats while you are allegedly in a relationship that is allegedly committed uh, to each other <laughs> with a man who had a baby on you. So yes, girl. And you constantly uh, go for his baby mother and anyone surrounding this topic on a regular basis. And uh, yeah, so she's a certified number two. She could be number one, but compared to Liv, she's absolutely number two. Um, my jazzy life. Absolutely. And yeah, so I totally agree with this list. This, this list is perfect. And we will go ahead and certify this at 322 votes, guys. There we go. Poll is over. Okay. Um, life sounds like something from a soap opera. Absolutely. Um, Ariel, welcome to the chat. Everyone, Bella, they didn't look appropriate for a wedding. We will do members and mods tomorrow. So any of you wondering, oh my God, I thought it was members and mods. It's Monday. We'll do it tomorrow. I didn't set it. So my bad, sis. Is, um, but at the end of the day, any day with Bougie Gang all together is a good day with Bougie Gang all together. Okay. And if you want to be part of members and mods, go ahead. Make sure that you hit that join button so that you too can be certified bougie okay up here in this thing yes yes okay um what else any other housekeeping items at the moment ladies let's see she was creole bay should have made the list is she ratchet of the most ratchet i mean we'll talk about that we can talk about that this week the baby who knows if the baby's coming um, as far as the sloppy seconds, the sloppy second crew, yeah, her and Erica are are heading up the sloppy seconds brigade. Um, oh, she's ratchet without love and marriage, you guys are saying. Okay. Um, 
Olivia wastes lots of energy on BS of massive amount of energy. That's how she makes her coin. That's how she makes her coin, sis. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and get started working. I'm going to be back somewhere between, I'm going to say somewhere around seven, okay? Six or seven, Um, because I got to get dinner started. I got to handle my mom-ish around here. And then when I got that all squared away, I got boo-boo, boo-boo, and uh, baby boo, and bae, uh, husband, all squared away. Then I can come and we can get up into some of these videos and go do a fun retrospective of the shenanigans of the last year when we went from someone who had the audacity to turn down a uh, $762.25. I don't know. I'm giving a wrong number, but um, of child support, took it to court, made a man's life miserable to the point where he get th he got the law all the way involved. And now a whole year later, you can't even talk to your baby father. And I mean, not one of them. You have a baby in hiding on this internet. You've lost your three kids custody according to your husband that's what he said that he won custody and you are now paying him child support girl you got to be more careful okay okay when you out here on these streets you got to be more careful <laughs> when you're out here doing the most for the least when you are out here not caring when you are out here thinking no one's watching when you're out here thinking that everybody is stupid, when you are out here just living foul, when you are out here thinking that you're cute because you're now getting what everybody else has, which is some love and attention, okay? Most of us at a certain age, we got that, okay? We know that you'd been looking for that, but your girl, you was looking in all the wrong places. Homie, homie aired you out all over this internet. Numerous times we watched, girl. And then you played your kids to the left. You wouldn't drop them to school. They missed school. You wouldn't get an attorney. All of the things, all of the thing things for this monetized mom life that you love so much that pays the bills that got you up out of sprouts, okay? Okay? Guys, we're going to talk about all that later on this afternoon. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Hit the like button. Make sure you are subscribed. This is subscriber chat only. Make sure that you are subscribed. Hit the notification bell so that you can be notified as soon as I go live. <laughs>